what is up beautiful people my name is chadia today i'm going to be telling you how you're able to order and ship items from any online merchant and receive it here in jamaica let's go i was watching a recent video on youtube titled amazon favorites and while scrolling through the comments i saw a comment saying you can order items on amazon and receive it in jamaica you never know that is why in today's video i'm going to be telling you the step-by-step -step process of how i order and ship items from any online merchants whether amazon sheen walmart ebay forever 21 etc and receive it here in jamaica in today's example i am going to be talking about merchants that are based in the united states of america and I'm going to be using my phone for this example since we're mostly on our phone scrolling through and this is where we do most of our online shopping anyway. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing that you will need to do is to find a courier service. There are several different courier services on the island. All you need to do is go on Google and type in courier services in Jamaica and you'll see a ton of them pop up. A courier will receive your package in America and have it delivered to you here in Jamaica. Once you have decided on a courier, go ahead and register an account with them. They are going to require some basic information such as your name, email address, mobile number, and your address. Then you're going to set up a password so that you can log into your personal dashboard. Here you're able to track your shipment, see your balance, upload your invoice, request delivery, etc. Once you have created an account with the courier, you will be given a shipping address, which is the address that you will ship your items to. Your address will have a unique mailbox number that will identify you. The next step is to create an account with the merchant. In this example, I will be using Amazon. It literally takes a minute to set up an account. All you need to do is input your email address and your name, create a password, and as soon as you do that, you are able to start shopping immediately. Step three is to add your shipping address to the merchant account. For Amazon, you're going to select the menu, three horizontal lines to the bottom right if you're using the app, select account, scroll down to your addresses, and select add new address this is where you're going to insert your name and the address that was given to you by the courier before you check out an item ensure to check the address that you are instructing amazon to send the package to the next step is to add your payment details in the same menu bar scroll down to payment and select the option your payments Click on the plus sign to add the payment type. Select the credit or debit card option and add the card information. When you're done, select add card. Once you have updated your address and your payment information, you're all set and ready to place an order. When shipping items to Jamaica, be mindful of the cost because customs will charge you an arm and a leg if you're purchasing items over 50 US dollars. Hopefully they raise that amount soon because $50 can't really get you anything. Customs duty will not be charged on items which cost less than $50. Once you have decided on the item that you want to purchase, go ahead and add it to your cart. When you're ready to place an order, select proceed to checkout. The invoice for your order will be generated showing the price of the item, shipping and handling cost, the total before and after tax, and the overall cost, which is the cost that you will have to pay before your item is shipped. You can choose whether you want to pay in US dollars if you're using a US dollar card or Jamaican dollar if you're using a Jamaican dollar card. If you select US dollars and you have a Jamaican dollar card, then they'll just do the conversion. Sometimes you'll get free shipping if your order totals a certain amount or based on the delivery time or date that you have selected. The earlier the date, the more money you'll have to pay for shipping and handling. 
usually if you're able to wait for five to seven business days or probably longer probably shorter too you're able to get free shipping sometime your package will arrive before the estimated date but for the most part items are delivered on the estimated date if you sign up for amazon prime membership you are able to have the perks of unlimited free delivery as well as next day or even same day delivery however this priority membership comes at a cost right now it is 14.99 us dollars per month or 139 us dollars per year when you place your order you will be sent an email confirming the order at this point if you change your mind you are able to cancel the order sometimes amazon will send you updates of the location and the estimated delivery date for the package the package will be delivered to the courier's warehouse in america this is a shipping address that you are given by the courier that you added to the merchant account when the package is delivered amazon will notify you by email depending on which courier you chose they will also notify you when they have received your package from amazon the next step is to track your package at this point you are able to track your package by using that username and password that you created with the courier to view your dashboard the courier that i use keeps me updated on the progress of my package by email notifications i am able to log into the account that i created with the courier to check on the location the weight and the rates per pound so that i can have an idea of how much i will need to pay in order to clear the package if you want to know this information before you order an item on amazon you can scroll down to the product description and you will see the weight of the item there based on the price that you paid for the item you can use this rate by weight chart to determine how much you will have to pay in order to clear the package the next step is to upload your invoice when your package is delivered to the courier's warehouse in america they will label it and send it on a flight or shipment to jamaica when your package hits jamaican soil it will be assessed by the jamaica customs agency you will need to upload or provide the invoice to the courier service beforehand so that they can charge you duty accordingly after all of this is done the last step is to pick up your package once the item is ready for pickup your courier will notify you by call email text depending on the courier that you choose and you are now able to go in and collect your package you can also request delivery if you don't want to go in office to pick up your package you will need to provide your id which can be a passport driver's license national identification card as well as make the necessary payments and then you will be handed your package the method is usually the same for whichever online merchant that you are purchasing from you will need to sign up with a courier create an account with the merchant or online retailer add the shipping address given by the courier service add your payment or card details place your order then you'll be able to track your package upload your invoice and pick up your package okay that's going to wrap up today's topic if you found value please be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already thank you all for watching and until next time peace